Hello guys and welcome to the Science of Safety. Uh, I am Anish Jairam. So today we will be discussing about fire tetrahedron. So uh, last video we have discussed about fire triangle, what a fire triangle is and what the implication of a fire triangle is. In case if you uh, if you had missed that video, I have put the video in the description. So kindly do check it out. And in case if you had missed it, I will be giving you a basic recap. So what is a fire triangle? Basically a fire triangle is basically a triangle describing the existence of fire. That is fire needs certain things to survive like a human being. So it needs oxygen, it needs heat, it needs fuel. So the three sides of a triangle basically repre represented the three components that were required to sustain the fire. So uh, at that uh, video, in that video in the conclusion I had mentioned that you need one more important crucial factor to bind all these three together that gives you the fourth element in a fire triangle that gives you the fire tetrahedron. That is, even though you have the fuel, even though you have the heat, even though you have the oxygen, you need a fourth component that is, is uh, represented by the for this fire tetrahedron. So this prop is basically a tetrahedron and it has four faces and look, it looks like a pyramid. So the fourth phase of the tetrahedron is called the chemical chain reaction or uninhibited chemical chain reaction. So uh, you have oxygen, you have heat, you have fuel and you have chemical chain reaction or uninhibited chemical chain reaction. So the word uh, may be a bit intimidating but uh, don't bother about it just keep in mind keep in your mind that uh, it's basically a chemical reaction it's a simple uh, we have a simple reaction like 2h2o plus or o2 gives 2h2o that's the first basic reaction that we study similarly fire also has a certain chemical reaction depending upon the fuel and they propagate through free uh, free radicals so these free radicals are essential for to drive the reaction and if we eliminate the free radical this chemical chain reaction is terminated. So we will be discussing about that in deeper in later sessions but right now keep in your mind that uh, the chemical chain reaction or uh, uh, just keep in, forget about everything and just keep in your mind that a chemical chain reaction occurs while burning the fire and this chemical reaction is required to sustain the fire and propagate the fire. So right now the tetrahedron represents four components and let's count it one that is oxygen two that is heat three that is fuel and finally the fourth component is the chain reaction and without the chain reaction even you have all these three fire won't burn without the fuel fire won't burn without oxygen fire won't burn and without heat also the fire won't burn so that gives you the implication of the structure so when all the phases are available, that is fuel, oxygen, heat and the uninhibited chemical chain reaction, then only you will have a fire. Or if you have a fire and if you remove one of these phases, you will extinguish the fire. So this is the basic of or basics of uh, one of the fundamentals of fire engineering if you ask me. And this is represented by the structure. I hope that everyone uh, understood what I said right now and in case in case you have a query if you have a doubt please do uh, drop it down in the comment box and if you have any other query any other particular topics that you want me to take so please drop it down in the comment box and you can get in touch with us via our media handles that is also given in the description so thanks for watching and this is science of safety signing off